Hello and welcome to Low Light Productions. Um, I'm going to do a short, hopefully short, video of what I've learned from the, this uh, Vision Mix Studios PreSonus Studio One mastering with stock plugins video that I thought was handy. Um, I myself um, just started out a couple of years ago to, to record our own band without having actually any knowledge, finding out through YouTube and and uh, and the internet uh, about microphones, about, about monitors, about uh, computer setups, about doors, and um, started recording and then actually started mixing stuff uh, and then getting into recording, learning backwards and then getting on mixing again but I never got into really uh, working with mastering thought that was another dimension and it probably still is but thanks to uh, Vision Mix Studios uh, with simple simple uh, ways to work with the stuff that you have uh, as stock plugins not even third uh, part uh, plugins you could actually do some stuff with the material you have so um, the song that I have I found on a, on a CD uh, that is more than 10 years old it was uh, recorded with a band uh, called Rachel Worth and the song is called Isabel and it was recorded uh, in our rehearsal room. I'm a drummer. Um, we had a guitar player, a bass player, uh, two female vocalists, uh, one lead and one backup. And that was it. And we had a few mics. Uh, I think we, on the drums we had one mic on the snare, one mic on the, f on the, the bass drum, at the, fr at the front head, the resonant head. Uh, I didn't. I don't remember if I had a hole in the bass drum, but still. Um, uh, and no mics on the toms that I can remember. And as I listen back to this track, uh, that they don't really come out and 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 you know are that present like the other drums. So. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a, it's an okay recording. It's pretty dry. We can we're gonna listen to it and uh, without any plugins at all, just the the, the stereo track. Yeah, that's the song. And as you can hear, um, 
and the sound is pretty dry at least the drums are very dry very basic n no effects at all and uh, the vocals are they're okay and the guitar and the bass are pretty good as well. I mean, we re we recorded it in our rehearsal spaces. There, there was no studio, nothing at all. And uh, somebody brought down a computer and started messing with it. And um, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a try. Because there are some good songs that we recorded, but, you know, didn't do anything more with it, so... The first thing I started to was working with the, the EQ, the channel EQ here. And uh, I wanted a bit more uh, presence uh, in the bass, and mostly here, the bass drum to stick out, uh, to poke through just a little bit more. Because I think, if I remember right, we had a microphone in front of the resonant head, and you get no... No actual, actual uh, beat action, uh, uh, you know, getting to the mic. It's more oomph or whatever comes of it uh, is there. Um, so you can hear when I put it on, it gives a little more bass. So there you can hear a, a bit of a difference, don't you? Um, and then I used another EQ. I wanted sort of spreading out the, the frequency uh, and, and getting a little bit more warmth uh, in the picture. So I, as you can see down here, I sort of broadened the, the, the bass frequency, lifting it up and, and maybe the bass drum you know, followed there as well. I scooped out here, uh, so I took away some of the boxiness, and I lifted up way up here in the high end to make uh, the song a little bit more crispy, the cymbals to come more clean than they were from the beginning. And uh, this is how it sounded like. So you can hear how it sort of comes alive much more. And uh, I mean, from, from having this that feels pretty naked. Although you can hear it's a good song, but it feels pretty naked. It's not, you know, glued together. Just by working with the, with the EQ here, you can get it much better. Uh, I haven't, you know, compressed it anything uh, yet. And the compressor will bring out a little bit more warmth, glue it together, glue the, the, the vocals together just a bit. Barely hearable, but still there. And also bringing up the drums a bit more, maybe the bass. So then we go there. You can't go back. So what I did was 
I sort of imitated the way, and actually the, the the way that he did it, trying to listening to what you know, what was the best way to to bring out the song, and also all these parameters and and and, and numbers, uh, having a soft knee, and also staying beneath two um, decibels com- uh, compression. Um, just barely hearable, but still, you know, noticeable, but still there. And then going over to the, I chose a soft limiter, going over to the adapted limiter, working with that, uh, staying beneath one, uh, beneath zero, one minus decibel, and pushing it up towards eight here. Just as he said in the video, but just trying trying you know imitating and then learning and making your own mistakes and and going back and forth to see where you're ending up so to just give you the the ladder here how it worked I can't hear you run 